In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get private key on GoDaddy. So before we start, of course, the first thing that you would like to do is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section, simply type godaddy.com and hit the enter button. Of course, that should take you into this page. And if you're facing any issues with the language, as I faced in my first time in this website, you'll have to scroll down until the bottom of it and make sure to change the country or region, which will take the or which will change the language with it. Of course, if you want even to change the currency, that will be possible. So now I uh, will have to go back and log in into your account if you have one. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to go and create one. Of course, you will be able to do both options as this top right corner option, you will find the option to create or even log in into your account. Once you did one of those two options, you'll find yourself on this screen, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Get on GoDaddy website. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to show you how to get the private key on GoDaddy. So of course, the path to your private key is listed in your site's virtual host file. You will have to navigate to the server block for your site. By default, it's located in the var slash www directory. You'll have to open the configuration file in your system and search for SSL certificate K, which will show your path to your private key. Of course, you can find all of that on products page. After you, after you click at the, your name at the top right corner, click at my products, which will take you to the products page and scroll down until you find like a sale SSL certificates option or even web hosting section. Just expand this for me. I don't have both of those because you will have to buy them. And for you, if you enter this tutorial, you will already have them probably. Of course, expand one of them and click at manage and make sure to go to your file ex explorer of course and you will be kind of good to go and of course when you generate like an uh, csr to request an ssl certificate a private key is created on your local server you shouldn't ever like send your private key to someone else including anyone maybe could be working for you and your domain name and but you will need to know where it is to complete the installation of course of your ssl certificates so if you want to do that you'll want to have it so this will be actually for the tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye